Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I am opening two envelopes. So I should say a little package and an envelope. Um, I'm going to save this for last. This came all the way out of the United States. It's from Portland. And here you can see the name. It's from Ezra. So I'm going to Keep that as last, and I'm going to start with this one. This is from uh, Card Advantage Europe, and it's a seller you can find on Card Market. And it's a very reliable one. I believe they're located right here in the Netherlands. And I order from them quite frequently. I like this little box. I'm just trying to find the right open. Dive in this side. There we go. Okay, look at how nice this is packed, right? So you've got your cardboard protection and then you've got a bubble envelope envelope on the inside, which I think is quite nice. Uh, let me just cut this open as well. And then you've got a nice top loader to protect the card. So this is this is kind of like perfect packaging, I would say. We've got a goblin token and some new cards. Oh, I'm not going to toss this one. Look at this one. Two-headed giant of four E's. One red and four to cast for a summon giant, a four four with trample and may block two attacking creatures. Divide damage between them however controller likes. So all of a sudden you're in control about the damage. Really nice, two-headed giant. Just love the art by Anson Maddox. One red and four, right, for a four, four. That, that's really good, and it's got trample. You don't have a lot of creatures in red with trample, so it's kind of unique. Very, very unique and interesting card. Um, didn't see a reprint in revised to fourth edition. So quite a unique card. And then we've got another card that I kind of got for the art. That's the Oasis from Arabian Nights. You can tap it to prevent one damage to any creature. Whenever I see this card, I always, or look at the text here at least, I always kind of wish that it would say, you know, tap to prevent the damage or tap to give one mana. You know, that would make the card so much, so much better. Um, but still, I think it's a, it's a cool card. And just that art is absolutely stunning. So I'm very, very happy to own this. It's my first and only copy. And this is Davant Archer, one white and two to cast for a legend, a one, two. And this doesn't see a lot of play, but if you're working on, um, you know, a Highlander deck, or if you're working on a specific Singleton deck, um, I think this card can be useful. And uh, it's a one, two creature from legend, so you can tap it, and then it does one damage to target attacking or blocking creature. So I think if you have a deck with you know other creatures that kind of can deal one damage or can do something else you know all those little creatures together and all those abilities together can be quite annoying for your opponent so i think there's a role there for the archer I've, i i think i've also seen it in some singleton lists uh popping up as well it's just a cool card you know um okay so we've got some more new stuff um okay so this is what i got from uh card advantage Europe. Let me just check if I pronounce that correctly. Yes, I do. Card Advantage Europe. And then the mail from the United States of America. It's actually quite cheap to get it here. $2.24. That's, that's, that's a steal. It's more expensive for me to mail to Germany than it is to mail to my house. So this comes from Ezra. Yeah. Open it up. Let me check. Empty envelope, so there we go. And there's some tape here. Okay, let's see, you don't wanna give away an address. 
okay, okay, we got here, we got keep up the great content, Ezra. And then, what do we have here? Ooh. Will it be more Timmy's? Will it be more Timmy's? That is always appreciated, Ezra, if you're sending me more Timmy's. Whoop. There we go. I'm really curious now what's going to be in here. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just turn it around, shall we? Ah, sweet. I love foreign blackboarded cards. Nice. Nefsp, Nefsp Asp. Oh, man, I can't pronounce it. Anyway, the 1-1 one -one Asp from Arabian Nights, and this is German, I believe. Sweet. Darkwood Boar, also a German copy. Or is it? I'm not sure. Maybe this is Italian, actually. Let me know in the comments below. I think this is Italian. Very cool. Thank you, Ezra, for sending the, these out. Love it, love it, love it. Nice divine offering. Yeah, this is Italian for sure. And Amru Kitkan. <laughs> This is a nice card, actually. It's a 1-1, one, one, and um, it cannot be blocked by creatures with power greater than 2. So, you know, if you've got, like, a couple of Crusades or other ways to pump the Amru Kitkan, uh, a Blessing, you don't see Blessing any. Do you Do you see any Blessing anymore? You used to see Blessing. Anyway, if you put a Blessing on here, you could do some serious damage. And two lovely uh, revised uh, lands. So, thank you. I'm going to add those to my revised collection. And will we have even more beautiful foreign cards here? Well, thank you, Ezra, for taking the time to, to send this all the way from the States. And yeah, yeah, here we go. Even more. Let me just go like this. Even more foreign cards. This is Italian as well. Uh, Siphon Soul, right? I think it's a sorcery. It deals two damage to everybody at the table, and for each two damage dealt, you gain two life. So uh, this is really good for multiplayer, one of the first like multiplayer cards. Right? If you play with four people at the table, this card can deal six damage and will give you six life. <clears throat> That's a pretty good deal for one black and two, right? It's not a bad card in that format. Um, we've got the chains for two black. This is, yeah, this is German again. So it's German and it's Italian. I'm just going to... Keep them separate. And this is a lost soul, right? So 2 1 with Swamp Walk, which I guess is in Italian, Passa Peludi. Anima Errante. This is Italian, right? Or, or, or is it Spanish? I think it's Italian. Ooh, and Ashes to Ashes. Lovely art by Drew Tucker. Really like the colors of Italian, the dark. Very vivid. Really nice. Ah, yes, and we've got this one. Um, I know what it does. It's like the, the, the cheap version of Diamond Valley. Um, I forgot the name. Something was Sacrifice. Uh, this is an Italian copy. So what you can do during your upkeep, you can sacrifice any amount of creatures that you control, right? And then you gain life equal to their toughness. So that's where the, the comparison comes with Diamond Valley. Now, Diamond Valley being you know, impossible to, to kind of acquire the, uh, right now, you know, in the current market. This is like a nice alternative. Of course, the problem is with this, you can only use it during your upkeep. The upside is that you can use it on multiple creatures at a time. So, I mean, you never know. If that's relevant, that's what you can do with this one. Ah, Wall of Vapor. Yeah, one blue and three for an 01 wall. And I believe every damage dealt to it is reduced to zero. Ridotto a... Uh, Zero. <laughs> What's zero in Italian? Let me know in the comments below. Muro di vapore. Well, thank you very, very much, Ezra. I really, really appreciate these foreign goodies and also these revised basics, but especially, of course, these foreign beauties. Really, really, really love it. And um, I'm sure you follow the channel uh, and then you know that I really enjoy uh, foreign cards, especially the blackboarded ones. And I always enjoy playing and building decks with it. I'm actually still working 
on two um, fully foreign uh, black border decks. It's taking a while, I have to say, but it's because some cards are kind of expensive and difficult to get, so I'm just waiting for the right moment to make some purchases. But um, one of the decks that I'm working with, uh, on is a Kobolds deck, red and black. So I'm hoping to get that here to the channel um, you know, in the next, I don't know, couple of months, maybe. It's going to take some time. Anyway, Ezra, thank you very much for sending out these lovely black bordered goodness cards to me, uh, foreign black bordered. And I would also like to thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the channel, um, you can do so by uh, clicking on uh, clicking the like button, leaving a comment. Become a subscriber if you're not a sub yet. I think we're already at two and a half thousand subscribers, which is absolutely great. Uh, but if you're not a sub yet, please consider becoming a subscriber. Um, you can also leave a comment. Let me know um, what you think of my Italian. And uh, well, actually, don't let me know because you've already let me know that I sound like Super Mario. But um, tell me which of these cards are Italian, which of these cards are German. Am I absolutely right, or did I make a couple of mistakes? Are there also Spanish cards in here? I don't think so but my Spanish is not top notch. Um, something else that you can do actually to support the channel is you can become a Patreon, uh, or I should say a patron on Patreon. So there's probably a link popping up right now. So uh, click on that link and that will take you uh, straight to the Timmy Talks Patreon page. And there you can see how you can support the channel. It already starts with $1 a month. So if you can miss something and if you want to support what I do, uh, check out my Patreon page. Um, for now, thank you very much for watching. And let's take a look at our fantastic, amazing channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ich bin der Schwingel, der Schumba-Kazik.